Welcome to this look at a quite frankly phenomenal new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on Mason County. This is newish. I've taken an extra day on this. I'll talk about it as we go around. We've got a lot to, to pack in. This is by Poor Boy. 692.14 megabytes download. Platinum expansion and premium expansion is recommended to take full advantage. If you don't have it, it doesn't matter. It will still run, it will still work, and there's still productions. This has more packs into it than Frontier. I thought Frontier was a game changer and next level and that kind of thing. This is insane. An intricate web of productions. Some standalone, some requiring others. All interlaced, all interlocked. It's absolutely amazing. Contracts are available on the map. Um, what else? You might need the BC Bueller Swather Pack and Swather Header because we've got extra crops, alfalfa, black beans and peas, um, plus canola, which isn't a new crop, but those four, can, they're all swathable. I think we get straw from soybean and corn as well. That's all been added in. We've got baby animals on this map. Um, like I said, we'll talk about it all as we go around because I, I really do need, we need to crack on. The premise being, you start at a friend's house... You're not staying in the house, you're staying in the carport. Your sleep trigger is just here. You have an old pickup, an old battered pickup. You have some old equipment just here. And it is all... I mean, it's it's all in need of serious repair. It's all dirty, it's all old, and none of it's worth very much. Harvest ahead. So you can pick up contract work. We've got a John Deere and trailer. We've got our cedar. We've got a mower. Forage wagon. Front loader gear. And we've got a logging trailer. So you've got a mixture of things you can do. The map looks like this. On New Farmer, we start with the plot 9 and the little plot that's got the house on it, which is mostly lake, to be fair. And then plot 20 here, which has got some forestry on it. That's it. Field prices are not too expensive. Plot price is not too expensive. And you can buy the entire map. So everything that's got placeables, productions, all the land can be purchased. Um, on new farmer you do start with we've got animal pens here and we've got some animal pens up to the north on farm manager and start from scratch the only difference being you don't start with animal pens you do start with vehicles and machinery um, but you don't start with the plots of land slot count bearing in mind with everything that's on this which is crazy new farm is 1288 farm manager and start from scratch 1233 so like i say the only difference being you just don't start with the animal pens so, what's been put in by the map maker? If we go to mods and DLCs under Mason County, we have got a Komatsu 931 edited. Now, if you look down the bottom, it says tree thickness size, 400 centimetres. That's four metres. So, most of them will go up to sort of 70 centimetres, that kind of thing. So, that's been adjusted, plus some colour options. We've got capacities. So, that one, will, that bucket will go up to a 25,000 litre if you want it to. We've got the low king distinction, single small trailer, like that. But that will go up to a 200,000 litre if you want. And a lot of these will take the new things that are added on this map. We've got some tankers. Again, we've got glue. We've got tar. We've got... Um, there's methane. There's all sorts of stuff. Um, again, capacities in that one, 25,050, which is normal. The aquatrans, you've got 7,300 7, up to 15,000 litre. The prinoth... Raptor, um, again, that's colour options, a few different tweaks and changes. Front of the bucket, again, capacity can be altered on that. Now we've got these. The um, You're going to look and go, that's ridiculous, look at the price of those um, chainsaws. You can buy the normal standard in-game chainsaws. The purpose of these chainsaws being, a chainsaw takes up no space, it's in your inventory, you can use it. But if you come onto here on, like I'm now on New Farmer, or any of the other game modes... Um, you can tweak what your start money is by buying one of those. So I could buy that one there and take my money immediately down to zero. Well, actually, I don't have enough now. Why has it gone down by $2? Anyway, so I can reduce the money I start with immediately. That's why they've been put in there. Uh, we've got a harvester there. That's got 15,000 litre capacity. And then we've got these Mac super liners. So we've got that one there, triaxle forestry. We've got that one there. We've got a tanker, which will take some of the extra stuff as well. We've got a loading crane, and then we've got a backyard-made pup, which is a trailer on the back for logging. Those have all been put in. Uh, we'll talk about build mode momentarily. I've just realised I've closed down my thing on my PC. It was not what I intended to do. There are a whole ton of thank yous. If you go onto the website, it will show. Um, this map contains work from the following 
with used permissions in no particular order. Now, often map makers will put these in as extra mods and things like that, but Lancy Boy, Gamer Designs, Realistic Gaming Crew, BC Bueller Farm, Celebuki, Taylor Farms, Lost Gamer, North Modding Company, D3 Machinery, 82 Studio, Pixel Farms, Mountain State Modding, TNT Modding, Bronkamer, uh, Prefabs used from the Mod Tub, Mac Truck 921, Max Sonchis, E Farmer, Vassil 698, Mato, and JM Gaming. Um, yeah, so there's an absolute ton. Build mode. If we go into build mode and we go to sheds first. We've got some sheds have been put in by the map maker. On the end there, we've got the Pineron log export. Um, obviously, because I've got platinum and premium on here to show you all the features. Uh, do we have any silos? No, but we did under containers. Out on the end, we've got the Mason County farm product buying station. Now, I didn't find one of those on the map. Or well, maybe I, I missed it. I might have missed it. But that is on there for buying things. Or did I? I don't know. I've got so much stuff. My notes are ridiculous for this today. And we go out to farmhouses. We've got the chair that we start with just under the uh, the carport. If we go to... What's next? Factories. And we scroll out to the end. We've got a whole load here. We've got bakery, spinnery, dairy, cereal factory, oil mill, biogas plant, root crop processing... Uh, firewood production, pallet and plywood, wood dryer, smelter, gold production, paper and cardboard plant, crude oil production, we've got charcoal production, we've got, uh, then we're on to the premium, right, so that's all those, do we have the under sell points, I think we did, sell point on the end there, we've got Mason County sale, sell all, and then we've got the residential sale, there are loads of those around the map, so that's places you can sell products at people's homes, uh, there was under... Animals, out on the end there, we've got animal pens, and we'll see about those, because there's alfalfa and, you know, we need alfalfa hay, and there's straw from various different crops, plus we've got the extra crop types, uh, so we've got that under horses we've got as well, we've got pigs, we've got sheep, we've got chickens as well as options. Decoration, I don't think there was anything, was there? I didn't write anything. Nope. And then landscaping... I think the textures were fairly standard. We've got a few extras, but yeah, fairly standard. Nothing under trees or plants. Hopefully that's all worked out nicely. Right, let's whiz across. Actually, I need to put some money in first. I'm going to put some money in because we're going to have to buy loads of plants up. I'm sorry I'm talking quickly. We have got tons and tons to get through. This map is crackers. And actually, it's, it's a really nicely made map as well. The level of detail and stuff on it is amazing. So bear with me a second. Okay, money's in. Let's roll. I'm going to start the first bit off in the pickup with that in the back. We do start with the... Uh, with a little bit of seed, um, and I'll get rid of it later on. Don't you worry about a thing. Across the way, we have got tar and glue. Now, as we go around, these will all make far more sense. We purchased that building, tar and glue. We can make tar, glue, and rubber. So, over the side, we've got tar, kerosene, sorry, tyres, kerosene, tar, and cement which are the incoming products required. Don't worry, we'll find out all those things are later on. As I said, intricate web of things. Now, if products productions aren't your thing, you can just come on this map and play it as a map. There are plenty of sell points. There's there's sawmills, there's all, all the kind of stuff you need. Um, so you don't have to do any of this stuff if you don't want to. Um, Tyres can be purchased. Kerosene can be produced. Tar and cement, like I said, you'll see. But that's what's required here for making outgrown products of tar, glue, and rubber, which will all be required. There are some really very very clever um productions on here some nice bits now as i'm driving around i'm also going to say that the reason this is a day late is that i spent most of yesterday doing the prep on this as i normally do for any map tour and then i spent some time trying to get some of the productions to work because there was two or three things that really piqued my interest one or two of them i got to work two of them or three of them i didn't because well you'll see the, the time it takes that's a residential sale point we have three residential sale points we're going to go to straight away or go past straight away second residential sale here i'm not going to count them all because there are quite a lot another one there and if we whiz around and across here across the bridge as i said landscape is really nice lovely really nicely well done um residential sale there apologies if i seem a bit flustered honestly this is craziness over here, I think this is feed production. We can buy this one for 60,000. Silage, silage alfalfa, cow feed, pig food, min mineral feed. Uh, so grass, alfalfa, hay, soybean, you know, regular, fairly regular crop types. And the outgoing products, we've got silage, compost, total mix ration, pig food, mineral feed. Now, compost, 
you can make in various different locations this is a byproduct here as well compost can be used in your manure spreaders um, so you can use manure or you can use compost in your muck spreaders if you want to or you can just sell it if you want to it's a byproduct on various different productions so you can just get rid of it if you want to we'll whiz down here answers on a postcard for this one we have got the stanton sawmill what map what map did stanton sawmill first make its appearance mind you it could have been one before that i'm not aware of but anyway stanton sawmill just here 50 grand for the sawmill now this one will do wood beams and wood chips if you've got the premium on um we've got various different types here so we've got wood beams planks planks long and various different productions around the map will require different things so the stanton sawmill up here will do wood beam um and wood chips as a byproduct with lumber coming in and then just over there we have got a rent train point so if you happen to have been logging and you've got your train full of logs you can bring the train you can stop it here unload it and put it into the stanton sawmill if you wish we're going to go back across the bridge and we're going to head out to the uh is it gold production i think it's the gold production next it's gold across the bridge and out towards the waterfall there's a brilliant sign i'm not going to read it out i will stop um so if you want to freeze frame it you can all will become clear when we get there so just here we've got a lovely little point down there i wouldn't want to go that's like the rubber dinghy rapids you don't want to go down there in a little inflatable boat but we do have this sign here regarding the legend of the mothman so if you want to freeze frame that you can and read through that it's a nice addition now i like that being added in they've got a little walkway down there underneath the waterfall lovely now, um, as I was saying at the start, actually I might lose that pallet off there. When I did my uh, prep, I, I tried driving into things, I tried all sorts to get rid of it, and then ended up just resetting it and it worked perfectly. Um, this is not a deep dive into the map, this is a map tour. I'm showing you everything that's on here. I don't want to spoil, I'm going to say spoil some of the things, there's some really cool stuff um, on here. And I'll be honest with you, each individual production chain on this map could require its own mod review in its own right it really could so here we have a wash plant if we click on the wash plant for 135,000, prices do vary quite wildly we can produce gold we've got water pay dirt and coal so the pay dirt is where you're going to get all of the little bits of gold out of the coal to run the facility and then the water because it's a wash plant washes the pay dirt get your gold and the gold comes out now the gold then you can do something else with the gold you can just sell it if you want to but we can do more with the gold from here i'm not even sure talking fast and doing it i'm going to get around it all anyway 60 minutes is my target let's go whizzing around the corner past the fire department just there we've got our spinnery just there we've got just in front the red marble bowling alley cell point then around the sides here we've got our vehicle shop so vehicle shop with workshop trigger so vehicle shop here and then we've got round the side we've got the vehicle shop sell point so the vehicle shop is just here the workshop trigger is just around the side there so that's that stuff that's that's for doing your work blimey put your teeth in for doing your work this is the vehicle workshop sell point so we've got a sell point and then we've got round here this is the oh used tires so because this is a garage workshop type thing this is the used tire point you can come and buy used tires so for things like making rubber where it says it needs used tires you can come and buy your used tires just here at the vehicle shop so a whole lot going on here with the red marble bowling in front as well so yeah sell point tire buy point and vehicle workshop i'm just going to reset this is the reset point as well and i can get rid of that pallet on the back perfect let us continue now as i'm saying um i, I tried some productions because i thought I, I wanted to 
at least be because I know if, if I was watching this I'd be like oh okay well, what does that mean and what does that do and what does that produce and my mind would be you know ticking away bakery just here I don't think oh that was the other thing I need to mention um, pretty much all the productions require pallets if we come on to it I know that will turn a lot of people off immediately but um, bread and cake can be made here but you look on the outside there empty pallets so even on the productions that don't have additional productions they are standard things like the bakery they still require pallets I'm pretty sure all of them require pallets if I recall correctly we do have a train on the map as well you might have seen that go past already just checking my notes oh that was the other thing as well I needed to check I didn't write it down collectibles there are 100 collectibles oh yeah I did find some didn't I yes of course I did and um, this is one of the first maps in a long time a little bit like Frontier where I spent a little bit of time playing on the map before I did the map tour. Normally I do I would go around, familiarise myself, familiarise myself with the map and then do the map tour. But this one, oh, mailbox, that wasn't me this time. I promise that wasn't me. So we've got the East Grain and Bulk. Two cell points here. There are actually a few places where we do have two cell points. And it's not even that some of these are cell points... One's for regular things and one's for pallets. If we come down here, you'll see wheat, east grain and bulk, east grain and bulk. So we do have two sell points and they do have two different prices. And also, if you take on contracts, just be careful that if you're told to bring to east grain and bulk, you drop it off at the correct place. Um, I always make sure I double check when I go to deliver. Nine times out of ten, I'll save the game first as well, just to, just to make sure then I'll sell. If anything goes wrong, you can always go back to your previous save game. Um, this is the Grocery Mart sell point. The sell point is around the back of the building, just around here. This is a very peculiar route round. Um, I'm just trying to fit it in as uh, neatly as possible. Then we're going to cut across the middle. To the wood drying facility. So if you just want to do lumber and you want to make a bit of extra money, click on here. Wood drying for 100,000. Click on there. So... Planks, wood beams, planks, and it says planks dry. We've got planks, wood beam, and planks long. So when that says planks, it's planks long. And then you can turn all of these three into dry lumber. Uh, you weirdly, with this one, you don't require any diesel, coal, or anything else. I thought for the furnaces or for, for whatever it is to dry it all out, or whether it might just get stacked up and it just gets seasoned. But anyway, so you can produce your dry lumber here if you want to. Some productions will require dry lumber, so you may need to. Cutting across, we come to the sawmill. So we've got Stanton sawmill up the way. Then this sawmill here, oh, that's the cell wood. We walk around this side. And if you've got premium or sort of platinum on, we click on here, 100,000 for this one. Wood planks, wood beams, wood uh, wood planks. Oh, which one was it? Wood in and diesel. This one requires diesel, but look at all the things that we get coming out. Planks, wood chips, bark, sawdust. Now, junk tank, junk dozer. Wood beam and planks long. So this will produce all those as well. But junk tank and junk dozer. I spent quite a while on here off camera bringing lumber. And because on the recipe, that's a very, very small amount. If we go across here and look at the recipe, um, for all the things you're getting out, it's a very, very small percentage to make junk tank and junk dozer. Some things do require that later on. I I ended up, I couldn't bring enough lumber. Bear in mind, I'm on console. If I was on PC, I could probably just magic piles and piles of lumber, and I could have done that far easier, I guess. Um, but I was cutting wood just over there, bringing it down. I think I bought four or five loads. I ran through the entire lot, and these productions do run pretty quickly as well. I ran through the whole lot and had barely scratched the surface. I really wanted to show you a picture of a junk... Um, dozer and a junk tank now this side of the way this is the storage for the sawmill so all of the things you might produce if you see all the hazard marked bays here all the things you produce all appear in these hazard marked bays out here your wood chip and stuff like that we can get out and there's a sawdust and various different things out of that tank there so that's sawmill swinging around I know now like I say people are going to have lots of questions and it's not a deep dive this is just showing you this is here um, there is so much to play with and do on here it's absolutely crazy residential cell point just there and then this tank here this tank 
is linked to the sawmill and that's where you put your diesel in. So the diesel that's required gets put in here. Then we come up to this building here, which is your smelter. Smelty, smelty goodness. So, the smelter. 110,000, the smelter. Metal, gold bars, pipes, drum barrels. Now, this is weird because this duplicates them again. The recipes are the same. Uh, we've got drum barrel, 150, 100, 100. Oh, 250. Oh, it's requiring... Oh, okay. That's right. That's requiring iron, iron ore. That one's got um, trash cans. I'll show you trash cans later on. Yeah, it's just slightly different recipes. And that one's requiring... We've got junk car, junk loader, junk dozer, junk tank. So some of these productions do require other things. We've got, then we've got nails. Um, so because those junk items... We've got wheels, junk all... Honestly, this is absolutely insane. Um, but again, you're going to require pallets. So you bring your gold here. So your gold, bit of coal. Uh, I think this requires a plywood as well, doesn't it? And pallets. Um, and then you'll get your gold bar production done here. So it smelts your gold into gold bars. But the things that come out require all those items. Because the palletized items require plywood. They require pallets. Which I suppose in the real world they would do. Um, that's your smelter. With that whole ton of stuff going on. Here's your train. Happy days. Now that little box there is not a rent train point. Whizzing or down here. Back past where we were a minute ago. Returning here, we come to the septic production. It's not Americans, by the way. Purchase that. Septic production. Household slurry. Corn slurry. Toilet paper slurry. Wheat slurry. Turn it off. Um, so, there are household items that can be produced. You can bring those and turn them into slurry. Not quite sure how. Um, but your corn, you can turn into slurry. Toilet paper, we'll see later on. Can be bought here, turn into slurry. Um, it's interesting, actually. Toilet paper. It's literally just toilet paper into slurry. I don't know how that works. And then wheat into slurry. With slurry being the outgoing product. So, septic system, just there. Next up, we've got the biogas plant plot. You buy the plot, you get the trick of the biogas plant. So, we are currently at... <laughs> Where are we? We started here. We went up here, out there, across there. We went out up to the gold. Then we came all the way around there. There... And across, we've done these bits here, up there to the smelter, down there, septic, and we're now at this point here. That little plot there, which doesn't have a number, 43,369. Bomb, bomb. Biogas. Now, I'm showing you this one because this one is interesting. We can bring grass, potatoes, silage, slurry, manure, and sugar beet cup, which is normal. Canola, sunflower, corn, wood chips, coal, crude oil. All those things. And then outgoing products on this one. Methane, digestate, diesel, diesel exhaust fluid, kerosene. Tons of stuff we can produce coming out of there. And those tankers I showed you earlier on are available to transport various different things. Um, so, yeah, that's not your standard biogas plant. We're going to whiz out into the wilderness now. This is to um, firewood production. So we're going to whiz across and on the way back I'll, I'll skip the bit driving back. So we need to drive back and carry on. So there's a ton of forestry if you want to do it, but you don't have to do it. And there's plenty of um, land. Uh, so if you just want to come on and do farming and do your regular stuff, you absolutely can. You don't have to do all this stuff. It is pretty cool it's here, and it's pretty amazing that it's here with such a low... It's 692 megabyte download. When you consider what's on the map, that's quite incredible. But it's only over 1,288 on the slot count considering everything that's on here all the productions are on here that's incredible uh, that really is staggering so right in the middle of the forest which is kind of where you want it really so we've got to transport things too far we've got a little chainsaw sat here we've got wood production for five grand click on that it's literally firewood 10 in to 20 out so we, we're doing better on the deal most of these we are um and you get firewood pallets out that's your firewood produ uh, production so back to the map we're going to go from, where are we? Here in the middle, in the fibre production. Uh, we're going to whiz all the way back out, all the way back down to there, all the way back down to there, and we're going to head down to this point here, and then we will continue. I'll see you down there in a moment.
Heading down here and across, we have got a rent train point just to the left. We've got Grain Pool East. That's a transfer silo onto the trains if you want to. Then to the left, we've got a sand cell point. Now, as far as I can tell, this is just by road. Uh, I, there's no thing under the tracks here. So I don't think we can sell sand off the train. Well, maybe you can. There's nothing showing here. I haven't tried that, so potentially. But this is a sand sell point. Anyway, just to, to say that. I um, normally have a thing under the tracks. Uh, rent train point just there. And as I said, so putting in and out of the train done there. From roadside. Putting into the silo done here. And taking out of the silo is the building opposite. Just under there. With all the various different pipes that have augers and <laughs> conveyors and things between the two. That's Grainpool East. I'm not going to do this, am I? Hooning around the corner. We have got the animal dealer. We've got the animal dealer down the back there for your animals. We've got the animal dealer cell point just there. And then we've got the bale cell point just there. So normally you have animal dealer, animal dealer sales, which is your bales. But you've got a natural cell point here and you've got a bale point. And then just down there, we've got a residential sale point tucked away in the buildings there. That's for your livestock. Turning down here, another residential sale, just there. We've got the gas station, just here. And then around the back, we've got the gas station sale point. What I am going to do, I don't know if you've noticed, because the vehicle is at horrendous repair and we're almost out of fuel, I'm going to very quickly refuel. So I don't run out while we're going around the map. That would be embarrassing. I like the fact there's sale points and stuff all over the place, which is quite amazing, really. Uh, then we have got just here. Click on here. Tire production. So we can make new tires here. New tires will become apparent later on. So the rubber and tar and stuff we talked about earlier. So rubber and tar, and then we had metal. We can do metal for you know, and then empty pallets. <laughs> like I say, <laughs> we can produce new tires and tires here. New tyres, relevant tyres, if you're going to produce rubber. It all becomes a kind of round um, production. I think when they're producing the tyres, offcuts and stuff is rubber that then gets melted down off the tyres into making new tyres. Okay. It's a complicated process. You can see how the whole thing is completely interlocked, interlaced. So, hop out here. Click on this. Cement and asphalt factory. We've got it all going on. Cement factory, asphalt factory. Sand, lime, stone powder, diesel, gravel and tar, incoming, outgoing, cement and asphalt. Don't worry, I'll show you where we get the sand, lime, stone powder and all that kind of stuff later on. I thought it would be a quarry, and it kind of is. Yeah, kind of. It's all very complicated. Um, oil mill, I will purchase because the oil mill is something a little bit different. In that requirements and what we can do here so oil mill 80 grand click on that sunflower oil canola oil but then we've got corn oil but corn oil is in barrels so the canola oil is something we can do we just require pallets but if we're going to do the corn oil we are going to require drum barrels because we get corn oil in drums worn out yet i am <laughs> uh where are we this side of the building Yep. Residential cell point just there. And then this one here. Pioneer palletizing. So if you want things palletized, we can do all of these things here. So when we said about household goods, here's where we can do it. Um, so we can bring seed here and get it palletized. Again, you're going to need pallets, asphalt pallets. Cement pallets, pioneer pallets is bringing sawdust, which then palletizes it. Glue pallets, so household goods. Corn and pallets, 
soybean and pallets, and then um, black bean and pallets. And we can then get household goods, which then can be used at the various different other things. Sugar cane and um, sugar beet cut, and we can get sugar pallets as well. So not exactly a sugar mill, something a little bit different there. That's palletizing. I'm going to head back, and I'm going to see you on the map. So we're all the way down here. We've done all these now. We're going to go back up. We came down this road, and we turned that way. I'm going to go back along this road, and I'll see you just here. Whizzing swiftly past that turning, we come to... This is the point we've been waiting for. Actually, you know what I need to check? Just in case you don't want to do it. Here we go. Pallet and plywood production. Sorry, plywood and empty pallets. But we are going to need wood chip, glue, wood beams and planks long. So glue's going to be required. So this is not just simple, straightforward. Let's bring wood, let's make pallets. But what I want to check here is let's go into here. No, not there. Oh, what's there? What am I talking about? Here we go. Let's go to pallets. Do we have under here? I don't think we do. Oh, man. I thought it might give the option just to buy pallets, but it doesn't. Oh, that's harsh. That is probably harsh. And when I did the Frontier one, I said about Frontier, and I said it was a mix between Snow Runner and Farming Simulator, and what was the other one I said? This is very much like that as well. It has a very Snow Runner feel, not because of the terrain, because of the things you require to collect to make other things. I mean, there are tons of games that are like that. Remember, like, when Metal, Metal Gear Solid made its first sort of transition into something a little bit different? And you had all these... You know, there are tons of games now that you have to do crafting. You have to gather up things to craft other things. That's this, I mean, in essence. I know people go, it's not farming, but it's brilliant. doesn't matter. And if you don't want to do this, just do the farming. You absolutely can. So we are now at... I'm lost on my map again. Barge. This is the barge sail point. And again, this has got two sail points here. So be careful because here it's got barge sail point, barge sail point. And again, it's not one for grains and then one for palletized items. We've got two here that both take wheat. So either of those you can sell at. Look for the one with the best price. If you're not sure which is which, you can always go onto here. Go to there, pick which one you want, and tag place. And it will show you which one's tagged. So the top one is the one right by the barge. The bottom one is the one to the side. Um, so then, if I go to that, there you go. So it's me going back in and untagging it. Um, so yeah, again, if you've got a contract that says barge sell point, make sure you're taking it to the correct sell point. Back up to the main road. Let's wheels. The long, that sounded wrong. <laughs> Anyway, whoa, all over the shop. Next. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop. Charcoal production. Charcoal. That's all. We just need coal, bark, <laughs> empty pallets and carton rolls. That's all. And we can produce charcoal. Just those items. This is one of those maps um, that you would come on to. I would probably play off camera just for my own personal delight of playing it. Um, because not everyone likes productions and you get that kind of, oh, you know, it's a bit. You know, <laughs> but I just, this fascinates me. So, animal pens. Now, these animal pens you don't start with on farm management start from scratch so off to the side here we have got look we've got lambs sheep ram goats so we've got our sheep and we've got our goats here we've got young we've got females we've got males um, we start with 12 out of 300 what's very cool about this is and the other animal pens you'll see and i like this and this should be done on more maps the entire area including trees and stuff the animals are just the meshes intertwine. So the animals are just... I did find some when I was on here doing my practice. <laughs> when I was looking around. There you go, look. Oh, that's a deer. No, there is one here somewhere. I heard it. I don't want to take too long. Hang on. There we go. They are here. So, and then the other side, we've got chicks and ducks. So, chickens and ducks. Chicks and ducklings. We come to this side just here. So there we go. Chicks, ducks, male, female, ducklings, 
all the rest of it. We've got 22 out of 500, and these are the same. These are out here, and they are in amongst the grass. And again, I found a couple. I just heard this little bit of chirping, and literally at my feet, I just caught a glimpse of a couple. They are out here, um, I promise you. I, I could spend way too long. And they just kind of intermix, which is amazing. Once they grow as well, they're easier to see. I mean, you can always come along here, and because you don't own the land, we've come along here, and we're here at this plot here. So that's one massive plot for 364, which takes all that in. I suppose that's the only downside with this, is, is you, that, sh I think, should be a separate plot you can purchase, because it's quite expensive. But they roam throughout the whole thing. So come out here, have a search. You might find some. The animals do have some feed to start off with. Oh no. Don't make me a liar. They are, I promise you. Anyway, I've spent too long on that already. Right. So, baby animals. Very cool. When we get to the cows and the pigs, we've got new breeds as well, which is just... Or, yeah. Like I say, the amount of unique productions and the amount of productions are on here. Just next level. Right, we have got another silo. Uh, this one here is the South Grain Elevator. Actually, no, this is a cell point. Uh, we do have a rent train point just over there, so we can unload. But the weird thing is, this is not a transfer silo. So we don't have a grate here for unloading into. So whilst we can rent the train, we can pull up and we can unload, but this is more... This is a sell point here. We haven't got a transfer bit, so we haven't got another bit there. I don't know if it's supposed to be a transfer silo, but this is just a sell point. So that's South Grain Elevator. If we go to our map and we go to our sell points, you'll see... Where are we? South Grain Elevator has a sell point. There you go. Just there. Right. Let's roll... Next on our magical mystery tour, we come to the trailer park. But at the trailer park, we've got this facility first. This is a curious one. This is for building outhouses. Again, five grand. Planks, dry lumber. Again, slightly different recipes. Although those are the same. But we have got shingle required, planks, long glue, pallet, nails, empty bags. So stuff we saw earlier on that can be produced. Dry lumber, glue, and we can produce outhouses, which can be sold. Prices for a lot of these things are incredibly good. Um, I haven't shown the prices, really. But if we scroll down to a lot of different options. There we go. You can see, look, corn straw, soybean saw, compost, alfalfa, alfalfa hay, black bean peas. So things like alfa, um, asphalt, coal dirt, gravel, all the prices are here. Crude oil, kerosene, tar stone powder, asphalt pallets, cement pallets, corn oil, look at the price of corn oil, it's pretty good. Uh, things like pipes, gold bars, not bad at all. Trash cans, plywood, glue, glue pallets. So you can see the difference in glue and glue pallets. So using that palletizer, you can get your glue, but if you get it palletized, double your money. The household product products as well. Look at those, considering what you had to put in. Price is amazing. Junk car, dry lumber, nails, and then you've got these, the junk dozer, junk tanner. These three are the ones I couldn't produce. I, I, I spent so long. Um, I'll show you when we get to the quarry. Literally, I skipped, I filled it up so many times, and it took millions of litres, and I skipped through six months and still hadn't produced what I thought I was going to produce. So, up here, next production. This one is building trailer park. We can make trash cans here. Staircase from all these different things, and then got junk car. Now this one, I did get to work. We got composts. So from corn, we can make junk car. I don't know how that works. Bathtubs, we can get a junk car. Like I say, I don't know how it works, but it does. But trash cans look like this. 
So they produce trash cans, they look like that. And around this side, if you produce junk cars, and the production on this is rapid as well, the junk cars will appear here, and they look like this. There you go. And as you've already seen, they can be sold for a, a, a pretty good price, or they can be used for other productions, for smelting and stuff like that. And the compost can be retrieved from here. I did have a bit of play around with that because I was curious to see. I started with the junk car um, and then tried the others. And like I say, I, I months and months and months, millions and millions of litres of product. Um, I had over 5,000 litres towards a junk loader, was it? We will soon we get out here to the quarry building. Um, but nothing spawned anywhere. So I didn't know whether... I think those ones, the junk cars, are 1,000 litres. And I did wonder whether the junk dozer and junk loader might be sort of 5,000 litres or more. But I didn't get one spawn. But I couldn't find a spawn point either, which was peculiar. So, we come to the quarry, which is up here. Now that bit up the top there, if we jump up, that's important. Because this bit here is where you deliver your stone. Because so I spent a while thinking, I can't find where this gets delivered. The stone is delivered up here, which will make more sense in a moment. But, if we whiz round here, taking out of the silo, or the, the facility is done here, and there's a taking out point around the side there. So for all of your things related to gravel, sand, etc., quarry production, 500 grand. So, quarry production. Stones in, water in, diesel in. A million litres of each that will hold. Out. Coal, lime, limestone, dirt, gravel, sand, iron ore, pay dirt. So pay dirt for your gold. Uh, stone powder, junk loader. So it was a junk loader. I had over 5,000 litres and never, I didn't get a junk loader appear. Now it could be you don't get one appear. It might just need to be on dis distributing to distribute elsewhere. But the fact that it produced a car, I assumed it would produce a loader. And like I say, it wasn't like I, I, I just skimmed across it. I, yeah, I, the time I spent, I produced hundreds of thousands of litres of all of these to get 5,000 litres for the junk loader. Because as you can see on the recipe, to all of those products coming out, it's only 0 0.5 for the junk loader. Um, it was absolutely crackers. I mean, absolutely crackers. Right. That's the quarry production. We've, done, we've got a quarry as well. <laughs> now we come to the next cool bit. Now, I didn't produce one of these. Whoops. Um, because of all of the things that were required, I, I could have spent a week on this map and probably still wouldn't have done half of the stuff that's on here. This is one of those maps, that, again, if you don't mind doing productions and you want to do these sorts of things, this will keep you going and going and going. So, this production here is your car plant. So, car production. So, some of the things we've seen already, so we can make a metal car. It requires new tyres, metal, rubber, fabric, and wheels. Now we saw the production for some of those earlier on, and out of that you get a car. It will produce a car. Now because of all the things that need to be made to get to that point, I, I did. I just didn't get a chance to get onto that. I, you know, um, I would love to have said, look, here's what the car looks like. But again, it would have been a week of gameplay, easily a week of gameplay, to get all of those things running. Again, if I was on PC, I could probably just plant and plop all those things in, and we would have been absolutely fine. So quickly back to the map, and I will show you. So we came from there along the bottom, trailer park, out there to the quarry. Now, that bit I showed you was overlooking the quarry for putting the stone in. We've come up here to the car plant, we followed this around. This track here leads up to that overlook where you deliver your stone. But this takes us into the quarry. Now the quarry, this whole plot of land, can be purchased for 646, which takes all that in and includes the quarry, which gives you access to the stone in the quarry. But here's the peculiar thing. The quarry is massive. I mean absolutely gargantuan. So if you buy that plot of land you have access to all of that stone in the quarry. But here's where things are a bit odd. Because down here we've got this pipe. I will skip the jump for the drive back because it's a bit of a drive and we've still got a load more to get in. So we get to this point here. Now I did think the junk loader might spawn here because that's the only place I could find a hazard mark box. And in all the time I spent doing stuff, nothing appeared there. So anyway, we've got this point here. So on the map, we are here. This is the Endless Stone Tower. Now, I drove a trailer here. I didn't buy the land. If you drive underneath that and you click L3, that will load your trailer with stone, and it didn't charge me a penny. Nothing. It was free. It was free, endless stone. 
So, the quarry is here. If you really want to do a full-on quarrying, you want to use the big old diggers, you want to use all the cool stuff, you might want to use excavators and all, all sorts of stuff. If that's your thing, then buy the quarry and run it as a quarry. You can have your lime crushers and things here. You can run all sorts of stuff and run the big quarry facility. If you don't want to do that, you can just drive underneath that endless stone tower and it will just fill up your trailer. You don't need to buy the land to do because I thought, oh, you need to buy the land to get access to it. No, it did it for me, no problem at all. Anyway. On the road again. We've got the Grain West Silo. This is a transfer silo to and from the train, just to our left there and just to our right. Transfer silo. Continuing. We've got paper and cardboard production. This is where you can produce that, that infamous toilet roll. If only we'd have had this during COVID, we would have been alone. Avoid the toilet roll wars. So, 145 grand, paper roll, carton roll, and toilet paper. Just requires wood chips in and pallets. And you can produce all of those. So if you then want to produce yeah, the various different things that require those items, they can be done here. Continuing. Now, this is I'm not sure if this is in the wrong place, but we've got a little building to the right here, which is right by the railway. And then you see a blue disc all up there? That blue disc on the map is under a bridge, like a troll. It's hiding under a bridge. So we come all the way out there, all up here. So that disc there is the train sale point. So anything that needs to be sold to the train sale point, might be a contract, might be whatever, or you might just have a really good price there, that's there. Now, I didn't know if that was supposed to be here next to the building, considering the little train building is there. If it is supposed to be there, that's absolutely fine. And then out from the forest here, that track goes over, and there's a bridge that goes over which takes you into this section. So we've got quite a lot of raised sections. You can just see the bridge there. So the train sale is through there. Whizzing along. Now I feel like I'm doing one of those tours where you've got an umbrella or a flag. And we're moving. <laughs> Follow me. Carpentry. Delivery to the rear of the building, please. Click on our carpentry. 150 grand. Furniture, shingles, prefab wall, staircase railing, floor tiles, bath tub, furniture. And a lot of these we can do with dry lumber as well. So if you have made dry lumber, we have got some recipes there that require dry lumber. But they do require plywood, glue, nails, metal, and outgoing as well. We do get sawdust as a byproduct, which does kind of make sense. Um, sawdust rather than wood chip, I guess. Which would be a nice feature to see moving forward, wouldn't it? Sawdust production out of uh, a lot of these things, because that's what you would get, really. I mean, you get some wood chip as well, but anyway. Let's roll. Residential sale point just there. Oh, did I miss the cereal factory? I'm just going to drive in and say, cereal factory. <laughs> That is a standard cereal factory, but it does require pallets, as we have established by now. I looked at my notes and thought, hang on a minute. We've then got grain meal just up here, which will purchase this, because We've got wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, sorghum flour. We can do corn flour, canola flour, sunflower flour, uh, soybean flour. So all of those, but again, this requires empty pallets and paper roll on this for some of these recipes. Actually, all these recipes. Because if you think about the, um, the pallets you get of flour, they are in sort of card paper boxes, packets. 
so that's what it's requiring you need those and again i guess in reality yeah you would need to turn down here dairy i think the dairy was standard but requires pallets pretty sure we will double check yeah butter cheese and chocolate but it does require empty pallets as well Next, we've got pigs. This is cool, baby pigs, baby pigs, piglets. <laughs> and what's cool about this as well, they roam up and around the hillside. Like I said, look, we've got piglets. Very cool. So we've got various different breeds. We've got Land Race, we've got Berkshire, Berkshire, depending on where you're from, and Black Pied, we've got here. But we've got boars, porkers, piglets, and sows, and each of the different ones. If I buy, for example, let's buy a Four. Depends where he ends up. So I did this before. They were up here. So just the pen runs right up around there. And the boar, I was looking for ages, and the boar was up in the trees. And I couldn't find him. And he was just laying down in the grass. <laughs> Which is cool. I think it's absolutely brilliant that that does that. But anyway, I could spend ages doing what I did before looking for the chicks. But I like the fact that nav mesh, the way it's done, that the animals will wander around through an area which i think is absolutely brilliant that's your pigs and they will grow as they do on bally spring so you can start with piglets and fatten them up and you see that whole process sorry over an absolute mare we've then got the diner selling station which is just there we've got the gas station just here. This doesn't have a sell point, it is just a gas station. Uh, we've then got, oh yeah, I'm going to just keep driving into vehicles. We turn back up here, I'm, I'm now convinced I'm over time. How am I going to edit this together? Right, all up here. And again, it's nicely done. The way it's placed and where it's placed, it seems more sort of fitting, it works. This is crude oil production. Click on that, 250 grand. Crude oil requires sand and pipe. So there's other productions that make things. The sand from the quarry, the pipe, was that from the smelting? And water, so you need the pipe for your drilling, that kind of stuff, we get crude oil out. Now people will say, I should have done this in two parts. Potentially, but again, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, when I've done that before on different things, because there's just been too many, sometimes map, uh, map tours occasionally, but sometimes mod reviews when there's more than sort of 40, 50 mods, and then people say, oh, that's ridiculous having it in two parts, you've just done it to make money. I, honestly, I only do it if I absolutely have to. I will try and fit it all in one if I can. Cows and calves, etc. and again, look the pen goes right the way off up on the hillside up through the trees we do start here no wrong one we want this one here and we've got some nice breeds on here as well so we've got six out of 250 we've got some holsteins so we go right to the top here we've got holsteins we've got calf female we've got heifers cows and bull calf male and bull we've then got herefords which is very cool we've then got angus limousine or limousine depending on how you say it we've got simmental which is fantastic and we've also got jerseys i think we've got charolais as well look charolais as well how cool is that new breeds including let's get a bull let's get a charolais bull let's see if we can see it please please be in here somewhere it just seems to put them off in random places and then you sort of turn your back and turn around and it'll be wandering down the hill oh yeah look, look. How cool. Oh, actually, he might be near eating, is he? You do start with some feed in all the pens as well. But again, farm management start from scratch, you don't start with pens. Did I buy it or not? Did I make oh, Animal 7, it's saying? It's in here somewhere. Why do I feel like I'm in like a Velociraptor pen? I'm going to look around thinking all of a sudden it's going to come charging out at me. But anyway. <laughs> Oh, 
I probably spun around it. it I, you've probably clocked it already, and I've just missed it because I'm not paying attention properly. Isn't it? Isn't it somewhere? It's lurking. It's a lurker. Right. That actually counts. I love that. Charolais as well. Charolais, Simmental. Herefords. Awesome. And then finally, we've made it. We've got a residential sale, which is just there. And that's the map. Did I do it in under 60 minutes? We'll see when I get to editing. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. There is so much to this. Like I said, each of those productions could have been a mod review in its own right. There is so much on here. And there are so many things you can do in their own right, but there are so many of these things that are completely intertwined. This web of productions. And I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's an awesome map. That's Mason County by Poor Boy. If you have found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe, that sounded really big, didn't it? If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.